Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and this is my Desert Oasis build. I wanted to build something that I feel like I would have seen when I was in Palm Springs, California. I went there for uh, a wedding and it was, it was just beautiful. But the architecture, a lot of the houses looked like this. And I just, I really liked it. It was something completely different than what I was used to here in Canada. And I just, I loved it. I, so I really wanted to do something like that. And we have the perfect neighborhood for this. So I was pretty excited to get going on this build. I wanted it to have a nice backyard as well with a pool because you don't live in the desert and not have a pool. I mean, I'm sure there's people who do, but I would never want to live in the desert and not have a pool. I do not do well with heat. I am definitely a Canadian. I, I prefer winter, the cold, all of that. So if I'm going to be in the desert, I need to have a pool and air conditioning and mis misters, which was great. When we were in Palm Springs, if you walked by the grocery store, they were just misting water on you. It was really cool. It was nice. The cool thing about Palm Springs as well was that, I mean, you're surrounded by mountains. And then when you get up really high in the mountains because of the altitude, it's nice and cool. You do, I mean, you might even need a sweater in the evening. It was, it was really nice. But I just wanted to build something that I feel like I would have seen while I was there. And so this is where this little build came from. I was toying with putting like plants and stuff on that little piece of um, little piece of roof that is over top the porch there. That's why it's green. I never end up doing that. I decided I don't like it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just toying with things right now. But that's sort of the roof that I have there. That is just so typical when like, that's what everything looked like. This is what everything looked like in Palm Springs. I loved it though. Um, I always start working when I build, I always start working on the outside first because I want to make sure that I like how it looks on the outside before I fiddle around with the inside. I wanted this to be very, very chic, you know, desert chic. So everything is kind of white. And then I, I use some red in there for like um, white with a red accent. I think red and white together are very chic. This ends up being a three bedroom and one bathroom, one story little house. So you've got the master bedroom that has the windows at the front that's next to the bathroom there. And it it's just it's just a basic just a basic bedroom but it's it's large so you have a, a I believe I put a, a desk in there and everything so it's just kind of it's just kind of a nice little bedroom and then I have two small kids bedrooms that uh, just they just have one kid per bedroom so this is a three bedroom four sim house and yeah so the kitchen is just kind of kind of small uh nothing nothing too big i kind of thought of this as a, like a little little vacation home you know so you don't need a huge kitchen because i mean most of the time when you're on vacation i mean besides me i like to cook when i'm on vacation but a lot of people just get get takeout i do, I do get takeout sometimes but so i'm just Besides the kids' rooms, which are very colorful, the rest of the house is just very white and crisp looking. So I'm throwing in the windows, and of course this build was done before you could center windows. Again, a lot of the builds that I'm going to be putting up, I've been recording for a while and just haven't started the YouTube channel. And so now you're going to see, there's a lot of things that I could have done differently if I did the builds with the new update. But alas, I did not. So I'm just working on here. I like having a little back black backsplash. Words escaped me today. So I like a little backsplash there and the the nice white cabinets. 
just like it. It looks very clean. I put lights in front of all of the doors just because I think it it gets the lamps off the floor and it makes the hallway really bright and just looks nice. I like having that little spot at the front where you have that console table and the mirror above it just because I I just think it's nice to kind of separate the rest of the house from where you walk in and the console table is perfect because I mean I've never gone in a house that doesn't have some sort of table at the front foyer because you have to put your stuff on it. You put your mail on it. You put everything on it when you come in because if you're anything like me, I just throw my purse and everything when I first walk in because I don't want to do anything when I first get in. I clean up later, but when I first walk in, everything just goes on the console table at the front of the house. So every single one of my houses that I build pretty much has a foyer with a console table. Um, the bathroom here is pretty basic. It's the bathtub shower combo. I like that, especially if you have a, if you're only having one bathroom in a house, it's nice to be able to do that brisk shower or take the relaxing bath. And then just, you know, you gotta jazz up the, jazz up the bathroom and everything. Um, yeah, just, uh, just trying to make this build look look really crisp and chic. The inside of the house, I, I put some clutter. This house doesn't have as much clutter as I usually have, just because I, I, th I think about a house like this that the, the homeowners don't want a whole lot of clutter. There are those uh, homeowners that they have a room just for sitting and you can't do anything else and the kids aren't allowed in in that room put your hand up if you ever knew anybody who had a room like that in their house no kids allowed only adults kids are messy i don't know but yeah so the master bedroom has the it's got um the desk area it has a mirror just you know work on your charisma work on your computer skills write a novel who knows what people want to do while they're on vacation in the desert um i climbed a mountain poorly very poorly it was hard it was hot i did not have fun i mean i had fun but uh i, I was in pretty good shape and it was just really hot and hard to uh hard to climb that mountain so the girl's bedroom is just very pink i love it you got the you got the pink bed, the pink console table, the pink chair. I just, I like it. Very, very pink. Um, a lot of the things that I add here won't snap onto the shelves, so I shift them up. I think I've said this in a couple of my other videos. You use, it's either shift nine or control nine, but it will move objects up and then you can um, when you have move object cheat on, you can press alt and you can shift things. So I do that a lot because there's a lot of things that I want to put on tables and they won't snap to, they won't snap to certain tables, especially the console tables. So I do that. <laughs> um, with the boys room, or it could be a girls room. I don't know. We've got the pink room and we've got the blue room. I really, my favorite color is blue, so. Which is kind of funny considering half of my builds are bright pink. My favorite color is definitely blue. But, so with the blue room, the blue child's room, I wanted to make it possibly um, an older child. Um, so I have the desk area and I've got, I think I put like some dirty laundry. <laughs> Um, but it's just very, it's very blue and it's very blue and cute. And there's a bookshelf as well. So that basically every bedroom you can work on some skill when you're in that bedroom. I like that. But, uh, yeah. The main area, like the main sitting area, 
I have that red accent wall with the television on it and I just uh, I really like that I that accent wall I think just makes everything look just exciting it takes that crisp chic look and just makes everything exciting uh, I've got a lot of the white furniture which I just I think makes everything I keep using the word crisp I really do think it makes everything look crisp with the white furniture in my house we have white furniture and let me tell you it is a hassle to have white furniture you can't sit on it basically because something might get on it and it's really difficult to get out but it looks nice as long as you don't get anything on it so yeah <laughs> um so just putting all the artwork up and making everything look making everything look nice I really like the kitchen. It's not super big, but I think it just looks really nice and clean with the white cabinetry and the chrome with the, uh, you know, the garbage pail is chrome and the, the refrigerator, everything like that. I just think it looks nice. And it doesn't have a, like a designated dining room area. You just have the, the table and the chairs just kind of in between the kitchen and the family room area and I like that and I just have all like the red rugs everywhere I just wanted to keep putting these red accents everywhere and I think it looked nice and then again just like in every other build I make I have a ton of plants everywhere I think they make every every build look really nice and natural but maybe that's because in my house we have always had a million plants plants everywhere but the master bedroom, there's, it's not, it's the only room in the house besides the other two bedrooms that don't really have the red accent. I made it sort of grayscale. So you've got the gray rug and everything. I just, I really liked that. Not everything has to be red. And you've got like, just putting in the extra, the extra clutter and fun things in the house to make it look like a house. Um, I had several save files for this because I do other things and get uh, interrupted. And sometimes it takes me a really long time to do intricate builds. And this isn't a really big build, but I wanted to put effort into this to make it look really nice. So it took me it took me a while, but I really ended up. Uh, quite enjoying it. I thought it was quite nice. So finishing up inside and I'm gonna go outside and work on the landscaping. You'll see that I, I end up having <laughs> some issue with the landscaping trying to snap to a, like above the foundation and I definitely what I'm gonna do in the future is wait to raise the foundation until I've done all the landscaping and I think that will I think that'll help so just uh just uh, going through working on some landscaping Palm Springs is basically my only experience with uh with desert and it was it was a lot of fun it was beautiful the culture there is really amazing had a lot of fun uh, with their little outdoor farmers market. There were a lot of artists there, and it was it was very cool, very very cool. I really liked it. For the outside, I really wanted it to be to be nice and chic, so a nice pool, maybe not a lap pool, but a pool for just kind of lazing about and a nice little pond I almost always have to have a a little pond in my in my builds and you'll see with my pond what I always do to make it look like a pond and not a fountain is size rocks up and down and uh, put them around the edges 
so that uh, so that they look just like a natural pond. And I'll move them. I'll move them up on top of each other so they don't all look like the same rocks. And uh, yeah, I just think it looks nice. And I put like a barbecue and an eating area outside. And yeah, I just like it. I would, I would stay here. I would vacation here. I would not live here because like I said, I like winter way too much. I like to be bundled up in, in sweaters. <laughs> so I would not live here, but I would definitely vacation here. I, I like this little, this little house. Uh, if you like this video, it is, uh, the build is on the gallery, so you can go ahead and, uh, and download it. My origin ID is RebeccaTax16, so you can download it from the gallery. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I put videos out every single week. Thanks guys, have a great day.